In the 1940s and 50s, the movie theater was the center of activity for many small towns across North Carolina. Producer Clay Johnson shows us how a group of dedicated volunteers has resurrected an old movie theater in Oriental and have once again made it a community hub for residents and visitors. Oriental is a town of about 900 people in rural Pamlico County. It's known as a hub for sailing and fishing with a picturesque waterfront and quiet side streets with quaint cottages. Oriental's Old Theater is now the town's center for the arts. On this Friday night, Patty Higginbottom is among the patrons attending a concert here. She and her husband are donors. Because we feel it's just an important part of our community. Tonight's concert is by Barefoot. It's a group of musicians from Alaska, now based in Nashville. They play a mix of bluegrass, country, and folk. You could feel the excitement in the room. It was just fabulous. Freedom isn't free, but I'm pretty sure it ain't costing me. George Merritt, a Swansboro businessman who moved to Oriental, built the old theater as a movie house back in 1945. He called it the Mart Theater, named after his wife, Margaret. When Margaret wanted to return to Swansboro, Merritt sold the theater to a local businessman. It was the center of the social life in Pamlico County. Until it closed in the mid-50s. Late 50s and early 60s, the theater languished, became a storage building. In 1992, a group of locals dedicated to the arts decided to form the Old Theater Corporation to purchase and renovate the theater. It was mostly a, an interior gutting and, and painting and cleaning up. Workers cleaned, sanded, and repainted all of the seats. And in the process collected 10 pounds of gum that had been put underneath the bottom of the seats. They renovated and expanded the balcony. The theater's old projectors were saved and are now on display in Oriental's History Museum. And then we made it back into a movie theater back in 2007 by purchasing the motorized screen and the projection equipment. Now the theater is a venue for concerts, plays, and movies, thanks to local volunteers committed to the arts. God, how many people own the sailboat? That's what it took. It took a little nucleus of people years ago, 20 years ago, working together to make this happen. I think we should all be very proud of that. Well, if you want some, come and get your lonesome. There's enough to go around and then some. The old theater also provides a stage for the Pamlico Musical Society. It's a nonprofit organization committed to bringing music to an area underserved by the arts. Artists that come here love to perform here. Almost every single one of them asks, can we come back? I think because of the intimacy of the small theater, it gives them a totally different rapport with the audience than they get in much larger venues. The theater also hosts a summer theater program for children who get to experience live performances. And when the children are in the audience and we poll them, we learned that over half of them have never been inside a theater. The program helps ensure support for the arts here for generations to come. It's almost an indescribable thing to know that we have taken something that was resting and quiet and not alive and turned it into something where people come often. And it's clear people here love their old theater. Every concert is a sellout. He I think that the theater really provides a, a, a central location where people can come and see their friends and all enjoy the same experiences together. Making the old theater the center of social life in Pamlico County once again, not only for local residents but for visitors too, who come for all the other wonderful things this coastal community has to offer. 
the old theater is located at 609 Broad Street in Oriental. To find out about upcoming events there, call 252-249-0477 or go to oldtheater.org.